Now, you may remember the discriminant of a, a quadratic. And let me remind you of that is really fast. If you have a quadratic, let's say uh, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, then the discriminant, well, that's the thing that would be under the square root if you use the quadratic equation to solve that equals 0. And remember the quadratic equation. The quadratic equation says if you set that equal to 0 and solve, then the solution is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. That's how you find the two roots if that equals 0. So in fact, that's actually finding you the, the x-intercept for this parabola, because that you set that equal to 0 and solve. OK, but remember, when will there be two real roots? Well, think about it. There'll be two real roots when you have plus or minus the square root, and that square root is, in fact, positive. So when the thing inside the square root, remember, that's b squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac. When that's positive, then we know we're going to have two real roots. If that equals 0, then I'm going to have, in the formula, negative b plus or minus 0. Well, that means there's only one real root, because I have plus or minus 0. So if this number were to be 0, then I know I only have one real root, only one x-intercept. And finally, if I see that this number is actually negative, I can't take the square root of a negative number, so there must be no real roots, which would mean that, in fact, the parabola would never cross the x-axis. Now, you may remember this is called a discriminant, sometimes known as d or some other way. So just knowing the discriminant, in fact, just computing b squared minus 4ac, you can actually get and sketch a pretty accurate picture of what the graph of the function would look like. Because all you have to do is say, OK, first of all, is it going to cross in two places, which would be where the discriminant is positive, because I'd have two real solutions. Is it going to cross just in one place, which means the parabola comes down, just grazes, and then comes up? That's when the discriminant equals 0, because there's only one root. And finally, maybe it doesn't cross at all. This is when the discriminant is, in fact, negative. So just knowing the discriminant and looking at the sign of A, seeing if it's a happy face parabola or a sad face parabola, you can actually make a rough but a pretty reasonable sketch of what the function looks like, just looking at the discriminant. And to really drive this home, folks, it's time for that favorite late night game show you've been waiting for all your lives. You can't wait every time it comes on in the middle of the week. You get excited. Yes, folks, it's time for Match Game. Match Game with your host, Ed Berger. OK, now how do we play Match Game? Let me remind you. We show you the candidates, a greater than 0. And then I tell you exactly what the discriminant is. And of course, here I'm taking a look at the function f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So here's the discriminant, and there's the a coefficient. And these are our candidates for this, uh, this evening's show. We have a is positive, and the discriminant is positive. We have a is negative, and the discriminant is negative. We have a is positive, and the discriminant is 0. Quite unusual. We have that a is negative and the discriminant is 0. And we have that a is negative, but the discriminant is positive. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we have that a is positive and the discriminant is negative. Your task, if you choose to accept it, which we hope you do, because we have some wonderful parting gifts for you in either case, is for each graph that I show you, figure out which particular scenario we're in. Let's begin. Our first graph, bing! So your job is to figure out which of these, if any, corresponds to a graph, a parabola, that looks roughly like this. Try it now. <laughs> 